trying to put the sink in. to the bathroom. So yesterday got a good job done here and did a nice drainage ditch. The workers helped me with the uh, putting up the sink, cleaned up all this junk, flattened out the area a bit and the shade cloth from the evening sun. So yeah the drainage is kind of temporary but it works. So the other one I got didn't end up working, it was leaking, so I ordered another one, and this one is great, I can wash fruits and plates and whatever else, looks nice, and um, still have this outside one kind of separated, so if it's needed to uh, do some gardening. So they're connected to the T and this is the drainage going down. So it's still not suspended on its own, so I got this brick holding. And then I'll slowly start populating it with fruit and dishes here. I got most of them behind there. I also painted this thing. And I got a cool long uh, internet cable so it can work wired but it is wirelessly working as well so yeah shade cloth still items i want to get done is a better uh, plastic one so it's lighter because the wooden one's heavy then i can roll it up up here and then have to view open uh, after the sunset basically and then unroll it when it gets hot again so yeah that's pretty much it um, just more organizing. I like what we got here. Then move the other one. So there's like a step and then another couple steps to get up. Still haven't made my mind totally up about what to do with this space here. If I make an extra spot or otherwise, pretty happy about it. Kitchen is up and running. This area is where we put the soil from the other spot, so probably we'll have some grass growing, but because it's going to remain dry, probably won't live too long, we'll see. These grasses are pretty vigorous, so I think it is going to be a funny experiment to see um, what happens with them. And we piled some rocks there for future potential flattening of the area. Yeah, anyway, that's my fall update from the Amazon jungle. We got uh, lots of these flower things, which I actually don't know what they are called or anything. The papayas, this one's a hermaphrodite, so it's got one fruit and a bunch of flowers. Dragon fruit is a bit too close to it, but right and then I got so many racks now so I've got the Rito rack, Seda rack and two Caban racks and then uh, did a bit more planting what did I plant I think well threw a bunch of seeds in the ground and buried some of the jackfruit seeds and these little tomatoes I'm not really bothering with them and yeah that's just been Quick update, oh, looks like the lemon's doing alright. The mame I planted did not make it, it did not live. The jackfruits are doing good. And gonna go check on the upper lot in a moment. Thanks for visiting. See you soon. Well, nice fog here. Some little plants recently planted. Jabodikaba, and then this is the Jackfruit there growing nice, champa jack actually. And then first 
red banana rock looking good. Pretty healthy. It's funny to see which one bananas type I like a lot and which ones I don't. The Rito and the uh, um, plantains are hardly alive over there. These ones are thriving. I got the Rolinia. Oh yeah, it's putting out lots of flowers. So probably should be seeing fruit soon. These are the flowers. They look different than usual flower. And then there's a soursop. Looks alright too. Very resilient. This one got knocked around. Got cut basically down to that stump down there. It was, it was nothing. It was just a stump and then the rest of it came after. So yeah, Mexican sunflowers are recovering nicely after the chop and drop. We do it in the right time of year, month, right time of month. Looks like the katuk's recovering really good too. It was chopped <coughs> and dropped recently. Just was falling over and looks tasty. Ice cream bean, they're a bit slower to recover, but that's normal. Here I left this one, I didn't chop it as much, just a bit of pruning. And this one's coming back again. It's going through these cycles of losing the leaves and then regaining them. I'll keep maintaining it. It's a good fruit called Abu. So the Aritas are still alive. The plantain's hardly alive there. But, uh, yeah, let's see what else. The avocado from the market. Peanut butter fruits. That's the orange and bigger one behind it is the aki. And let's see here, jackfruit. This is another grafted one. Looks alright. A bit less leaves than I would like to see, but seems to have dropped some. There's new growth. Let's see how it does. And let's see if there's any weird thing. Oh no. It's above the root stock, so it should be okay. So yeah. Okay, what else? Meringue. Oh, yeah, it's been going up there. Probably we'll have to cut some of this forest to allow some more light in. Really nice and foggy morning. Felt like exploring. A bit, got some morning energy. One rack I already had, but it was not very good. So I fertilized them again. No more. We'll do a bit of <coughs> cleaning. So, when the leaves are folded over, clean it up. Seems a bit busy here, and I yeah, just dropped a few leaves. But uh, let's see what else. I like how the aki is spreading up a bit to the sides, out, and not uh, going up too high anymore. Although it is still growing up, and it probably will go a few more meters. Or <laughs> yeah, looks good. Expecting a hoping for fruits. It's been a little while. Probably gonna put some fruit soon, but I think it's probably a bit too happy. I fertilize it so it'll keep growing. That's good. I want big strong tree. Oh wow, the sapote is growing. Okay, well that's way too close, but then there's the mandarin. It's also quite close. It's been a bit slower to, to grow been this size so for about a year now. Planted about almost three years now ago. It's got new growth. Here is a poshte. That's looking alright. And this is the Suriname cherry. Gave some fruits. So that's pretty promising. I enjoy this fruit. Very nice, sweet and tart. 
and beautiful. It looks a lot like the um, Jabba de Cabo leaves, but it's different. Do a bit of cleanup. So I can breathe a bit. Oh yeah, the white guava's coming. So it's got some fruit on it. A bunch actually. So that's the nice the same amount of time. I planted these first plants. Pashte, orange and mandarin, aki, and uh, white guava, Suriname cherry. As well as the chop and drop which I've been pruning consistently. Flamingia, ice cream bean. Back then I didn't have Mexican sunflowers, so all of them came a bit later, such as this one. And here the flamingia was seeding a lot, so it spread out, which is good. I'm happy about that. It's not very hard to maintain it. Let's see how the Theobroma bicolor are doing. Oh yeah, it's growing nicely. Theobroma bicolor. It's doing fantastic. It's outgrowing the uh, shade cloth, so I'm thinking to limit it more and more, and then probably take it out soon. It's already reaching the top of this stick. Yeah, let's see. It's doing good. It's loving the manure, that's for sure. Black sapote is growing nicely. Nice. Looks like the warumbo, which is one of the um kind of weed trees that grow really fast and collapse. This one's kind of leaning over, <laughs> touching the ground. It's really pretty and it's got some fruit that kind of, I'm not sure, some of the varieties are edible. And I'm gonna go check on the durian up there. Oh, I also didn't show another jackfruit's doing good. Another one's a bit slower because it's shaded. Did I mention I like jackfruit? I want to have more than, than uh, I can eat. Especially delicious ones. Hope they're all good. Oh, looks great. There's a line of Mexican sunflower following the contour. Actually, I don't know how accurate it is because it was done by hand by eye. No measuring of that. Ah, it looks great here. Good growth. On new growth on this, which I think is a rambutan. Let's see if the tag is still. Hard to say, but anyway, I'll clean up some of these. They're not too invasive, so I'll just chop them up a bit. Pretty slowly, the grafted durian. Have some more that I've planted that are not grafted. But, uh, what else have I got? I guess I got Nalampi the there, which is a local nut. And that's pretty much the majority. Oh, yeah, there's more stuff down there. Some more bananas. So I planted a, planted a bit more sugarcane and can take a little quick shower to cool off because it's getting really hot and I thought it would be kind of cool because it's actually nice and cool here to move some rocks so I moved these uh, big rocks it was actually kind of uh, easier than I thought so hard obviously but so hopefully that will fill up right now it's disturbed with the mud when I moved it so it's a bit murky, but usually it's pretty clear water. So. 
I like it. And the sun is shining. And get back to work and plant some more sugar cane. Good nature. I'll take another shower if I get sweaty.